Senor Stobart, look! What is that? It's not... It's not the Holy Grail, is it? No, Senor Stobart. It is the communion chalice of the De Vasconcelos. Missing for almost 700 years. Wow! Well, go on. I... I cannot. I can hardly believe it is real. Ah, go ahead. Live a little. Are you sure? This is your moment of triumph, Senor Stobart. Sure, I'm sure. The possibility of death traps only occurred to me a few days later. So the curse of the De Vasconcellos is lifted? Oh no. The Countess was thrilled to find the lost chalice. But there's still the riddle of the missing knight. Well, you can forget about that now and get back to finding the Templar's secret. Uh, actually, I promised the Countess I'd find Don Carlos. You what? I can explain everything. You have got the odds for a withered old Spanish aristocrat? The Countess entrusted me with the chalice and the quest for her ancestor's tomb. You're as crazy as she is. Haven't you got enough problems? Khan and the Templars? It's all part of the same thing. The chalice is important, I'm sure. The manuscript pointed us to the knight, and I have to find him. What then? I don't know. But when the knight and the chalice are reunited, maybe I will. This is the chalice I discovered in Spain. I still can't figure out why the Countess gave it to you. After losing it for all those years, she simply gave it away to a total stranger. She's one pawn shot of a paella. The Countess is a fine lady. You shouldn't compare her with seafood. I wouldn't be surprised if there's something going on between you and that Countess. Are you serious? She's old enough to be my grandmother. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. A knight's tomb, his effigy in marble lying in perpetual state.
a night there in the company of his fellows. Biblical references engraved into the tomb edge to guide his way to the next world. I guess. Waiting in prayer for the judgment day. Just think, there's a dead guy under there. Uh, excuse me, father. Pardon? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all, monsieur. It will be my pleasure to help you. What do you know about the Knights Templar? You have come to the right place, if that is your interest. Many of them were executed in the square outside. It was a disgrace to France. Well, the Pope was right behind it, though. Clement V was a man of mammon, not of God. That's kind of forthright for a priest, isn't it? You think so? It is hard to be sure what happened. It is so long ago. How long have you worked here? Hardly work, monsieur. This is a calling. I have been helping Father Flaubert for nearly six months now. I guess you don't know much about the history of this church, then. Just a little. You've got quite a shine on that candlestick. Ah, oui. Anything less than best would be an insult to the Almighty. I guess so. I never thought of it like that. What do you make of this chalice? It uh, certainly looks very old. About as old as this church, I think. There seems to be an engraving on it. Yeah? What does it say? I do not know. It is very tarnished. With your permission, uh, I could try polishing it. Uh, I promise I will be very careful. That'd be very good of you. This uh, shouldn't take very long. Feel free to look around. Okay, thanks. The statue had any secrets. It was concealing them pretty well. A huge stained glass window formed a magnificent centerpiece for its neighbors. A statue of a knight holding a staff and a scroll. The lens fitted into the end of the scroll like a hand into a glove. Hey! A Knight Templar burning at the stake and a date. Let me see. M C C C X I V. That's thirteen fourteen. Hello again, Father. Hey, thanks. It is my pleasure, monsieur. What was the writing on the chalice? It was not writing. Uh, my mistake. It was a coat of arms. The remarkable thing is that it seems very familiar. Yeah? Oui. I think I have seen it on that wall tomb in the far corner. That winged horse is quite distinctive. Did you know that the center window conceals an image of a man burning at the stake? The burning man? What, you knew? That there was a hidden image? No. But the church has a reputation for being haunted. 
Many times people have claimed to have seen a burning man in the window, but when others they look, there is nothing. Perhaps the light has to be just so for the figure to appear. Yeah, or maybe you need a special lens. Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. Now that my attention had been drawn to it, there was no mistake. There was no name on it. But the coat of arms was undeniably the pegasus of the De Vasconcellos family. I'd found the last resting place of Don Carlos. My eye was drawn to the biblical references carved into the edge of the tomb. Hey, maybe these biblical references mean something. Psalms 32.7 John 4.11, Corinthians 1.4.5, and just one more, Psalms 22.21. I may not be perfect, but I've got a memory like a steel trap. The chalice had led me to these inscriptions, but it looked like a happy coincidence to me. After all, the de Vasconcellos arms were already on the manuscript. Nope. I was still convinced that the chalice had some significance all of its own.